In the previous videos, we've learned how to find the distance between two points. In this video, we learn how to find the distance between a line and origin. So here's an example. Find the distance of line 3x plus 4y equals to 25 from the origin. So let's plot this x axis, y axis. Here's our line and this is our origin. And in this chapter, when we say distance, we mean perpendicular distance. This means we're not going to take any random point on this line and find the distance of that point from origin. We're only going to take one specific point, one special point from which we can draw the perpendicular, which passes through the origin. So this length is what we're after. This is the distance between this line and origin. So how do we do this? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, let's solve this together. 3x plus 4y equals to 25. This is our line and this is the length that we're after. How can we figure out this length? Well, if we know this point, we can use the distance formula. So the next question is, how do we figure out this point? Well, this point is called the foot of the perpendicular from origin. We can find the foot of the perpendicular and then use the distance formula. So now our job is to figure out the coordinates of this point. So let's assume what we don't know. Let's assume that the coordinates are F A comma B F for foot of the perpendicular. So A and B are its X and Y coordinates. We have introduced two variables in the system, which means we need two equations to solve this. So this means we need two things that this point satisfies. Can you think of those two things? Okay. So the first one is that this line is perpendicular to this line. OF is perpendicular to this line 3x plus 4y equals to 25. This should give us one equation. But what can we use for the other one? So F not only lies on OF, F lies on this line as well. F lies on 3x plus 4y equals to 25. And this should give us the second equation. So pause the video, form both the equations. Okay, let's do this together. OF is perpendicular to this line, which means their slopes are related. The slope of OF times slope of this line is equal to minus one. Do we know the slope of these two? Well, we at least know the slope of this line, 3x plus 4y equals to 25. We can figure this part out. So this becomes slope of OF times, what's the slope of this line? If you move 3x to the other side, that's minus three. And if you divide by four, so that's minus three by four. Slope of this line is minus three by four. So what's the slope of OF? That's negative reciprocal of minus three by four. So minus sign goes and this becomes four by three. So we figure out the slope of this line. We now know that this line passes through origin and has a slope of four by three. Now let's write this in the form of A and B. Slope of this line is B minus zero by A minus zero using coordinates. This means B minus zero by A minus zero is equal to four by three. This means if you cross multiply, 3B is equal to 4A. So this is our first equation in A and B. Let's form another one. F lies on this line. This means the coordinates of F satisfy the equation 3X plus 4Y equals to 25. So F satisfies this equation. Now plugging X as A and Y as B, this is what we get. Three times A plus four times B, that's equal to 25. So this is our second equation in A and B. So two equations and two unknowns. Let's figure them out. We can use any of the methods. Let's use elimination. This one has four B, this one has three B. So let's multiply this one by four. We'll get a nice hundred here. So three times four is 12. So 12A plus 4 times 4 is 16, 16B equals to 25 times 4, that's 100. And here we can use this equation. So if 4A equals to 3B, 3 times of this becomes 12A and 3 times of this becomes 9B. So 12A equals to 9B plus 16B equals to 100. 9 plus 16 is 25, 25B is 100, which means B is equal to 4. And if we plug B equals to 4 here, 4 cancels out. A is equal to three. So now we know both A and three, we have solved these equations and we know the foot of the perpendicular. That's three comma four. This is the point. And once we have the point, we can use the distance formula. So we can finish this off. OF 
equals to square root of 4 minus 0 square plus 3 minus 0 square that's 4 square plus 3 square that's 16 plus 9 square root of 25 that's equal to 5 which means this length the distance between origin and this line that's equal to 5 units let's quickly recap what we just did we need to find the distance the perpendicular distance which means we need to find this point which was on the given line and also on the perpendicular which passes through origin so these are the two things that we used we formed two equations and got a and b as soon as we got the point we used distance formula to figure out the distance so this is one way of doing things in math there are often more than one ways of doing things especially in this chapter straight lines so let's do this using another method this time we'll talk about triangles and we'll find area of triangles so let's plot this again this is the line this is origin we need to find the perpendicular distance now that you know the clue that we are going to talk about area of triangles can you figure out an alternate method pause the video think about it okay so this is what we need to find this length is sitting in this triangle so can we figure out the area of this triangle how can we do that this is a right angle triangle which means if we know these two sides if we know the x-intercept and y-intercept we can figure out the area of this triangle but is there another way of figuring out this triangle that involves this length that that we're trying to figure out yes there is if we take this it's the length between the axes if we take this as the base this distance from origin becomes the altitude so we can figure out the area by using these two lengths half of this times this should be equal to half of this times this because we're talking about the same triangle so area of this triangle let's write this down equals to half of base times height that's x intercept times y intercept but it's also equal to half of base times height that's length between axes times the height which we're trying to figure out the distance from the origin now of these lengths what are the things that we can figure out can we figure out x and y intercept yes we can we have the equation we can figure out both of these can we figure out the length between axes think about it yes we can because once we have intercepts we also have these points and using distance formula we can figure out the length between these two points which should give us the length between axes so we can figure out this this and this which means we can figure out this as well so if we compare these two equations left hand side is the same which means the right hand side is also same so half also cancels this question mark this length that we try to figure out the distance from origin this is equal to x intercept times y intercept divided by length between axes so let's figure this out what's the x and y coordinate for this we have to plug in x and y as zero so let's do that if you put y as zero we get 25 by 3 that's our x intercept and the point is 25 by 3 comma 0 and if you put x as 0 we should get y intercept that's 25 by 4 and this point is 0 comma 25 by 4 so we have the intercepts and we have the points let's use the points to figure out the length between axes how do we do that we can use distance formula that's equal to 25 by 3 minus 0 square plus 25 by 4 minus 0 square that's 25 by 3 square plus 25 by 4 square square root now 25 is common we are squaring and then taking the square root so let's take 25 out here we have square root of 1 by 3 square that's 1 by 9 plus 1 by 4 square that's 1 by 16 now we can take 9 and 16 out as well we can take the LCM that's 9 times 16 and take the square root of that that's 3 times 4 so 25 divided by 3 times 4 what do we have the numerator we have square root of 16 plus 9 that's square root of 25 that's equal to 5 so the length between axes is 25 times 5 by 3 times 4 let's leave this as is because a lot of things will get cancelled so what's the distance from origin that's equal to 25 by 3 times 25 by 4 divided by 25 times 5 by 3 times 4 divided by the length between axes so let's cancel things out 25 by 3 cancels out and this 25 and 5 become 5 and 4 cancels out so all we're left with is 5 so this length is equal to 5 units it's the same answer but a very different method